He just now got his driver's license. He don't know how to drive. Little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest, picking up the field mice, popping them on the head. gonna get stuck on another rock. Well, see where we're at? We're here at Adrenaline Cycles. And if you just read the title, my co-pilot here slept through the whole thing, the whole drive, waiting for her turn to drive. So, if you read the title, you were reading the title right. Um, big problems with the can-am had some breakage uh, we'll talk about it and go over it um, brought it up here to adrenaline cycles we're gonna turn it over to these guys and get it its first service and then see if they can diagnose what's going on and some of the issues um, I'm gonna get the Maverick unloaded get it off the trailer and we're gonna go over a few things um, possibly what's wrong and some updates some some uh, factory issues that i just avoided and finally going to get it updated it's been probably about a year since i've been up here originally picked up the maverick so kind of an anniversary thing for it so um if first time on the channel uh consider hitting that uh subscribe button uh drop us a like for the video um you know, drop us a comment. What do you think? If you've had a, a Maverick, you've had any problems as this such, uh, let me know. Um, appreciate everybody's support. But anyways, enough babbling. We'll get this thing unloaded and we'll go over it and talk about it. And uh, go from there. So one issue I'll touch base with real quick. If you have a uh, 2021 and came with factory winch and stuff, you've experienced this issue. Uh, with the winch, if it falls below a certain voltage, it will, I guess, go into like a limp mode. Um, the battery light will come on and then basically you have to turn the machine off, pull the key, and let it reset itself before you can turn the machine back on and use the winch. It totally cuts it out. Um, and there is a it's supposed to be a factory reflash for that uh, to fix that issue to where that stops happening so you don't have to go through all that another one with a factory reflash um, is supposed to be if you hit the throttle and the brakes at the same time it cuts the throttle out whenever you hit the brakes so see if we can get that taken care of um, as far as the major issues something I suffered from this past weekend and an ongoing issue this past weekend pretty sure the diff went out um, the driver's side stopped spinning or well stopped moving and I heard a loud noise come from it and then eventually this side stopped working too this one was still working for a short period of time but it stopped so there is no four-wheel drive i actually found that gear oil was leaking out it was on the ground so pretty sure the diff has said goodbye another thing is <clears throat> we'll get them to check out um, is the steering rack so the steering rack itself um it quit working or well it didn't quit working it's got a lot of slop in it so when you turn left to right uh, like it doesn't steer as quick 
quickly as it has and if you get up to a higher speed you'll actually get the speed wobbles so i'm gonna get these guys to check it out and also get it its first service uh, I just hit 100 hours, so the recommended service is 100 hours, 1,000 miles, um, no break-in service. So, I'm going to get this thing unloaded. We'll go in here, check out some of the toys in there. You want to go inside and check out the toys? Uh-uh. But, yeah, here we go. We can get it knocked out. Welcome back. Back up here at Adrenaline Cycles. Well, I was going to split this up into a couple uh, videos when I finished the, uh, the last clip uh, when I was unloading and everything. And I dropped the rig off, talked to them, told them everything that was going on. Um, I lost track of the other projects and stuff that I had going on. Anyways, so I dropped it off on a Friday, I do believe, a Thursday or a Friday. Um, and just over a week, today is Tuesday, they called me yesterday. Um, so a little bit over a week, they got the Maverick back, or they got it finished. They called me and told me to come pick it up and everything. So they told me that uh, diff was replaced, the steering rack was replaced. They did the service and the flash and all that. So I'm gonna to talk to them while we're in here and see if we can go over a few things uh, of what failed. And then I will let you guys in on it. I'm happy to have the Maverick back because I'm about to be off work for a week, and about a week, week and a half. Uh, we got some work to do on the track. And also, I wanna go riding. Um, hopefully it snows a little bit. We can go up the wind rock, top of the mountain and play in the snow. So I'm gonna run in here real quick. Um, Co-pilot's passed out. We'll wake her up. We're gonna run in here, uh, get everything squared away, and check back here in a second. She's all loaded up, ready to go back home. Uh, luckily, they provided me with the parts, so when I get to home, we'll uh, we'll do a breakdown of what went down with the diff. Um, so, new steering rack. Um, new diff um, let's see they replaced the axle on that side I guess they had something going on with the diff um, looks like they had to take the stub shaft apart and all that so go and get her cleaned up I've got a couple small videos uh, some installs and I'm going to do a review um, on the windshield here this motor uh, went bad i was having issues out of it kind of from the get-go and it went bad so i've got the replacement i'm going to talk about it and uh, do a review on the power flip windshield so for right now i'm going to get back to the house um see all new looking new good to go got all the broken pieces in the box so so for now I'm gonna get out of here and make my way back home and get ready for work. Uh, hopefully if I have time, I will go over the diff, uh, get it taken apart, and then I can put this video together and get it uploaded for you guys so you can see what's going on. Peace out. What do you think, BB? Does it look broken? Uh, yeah, I'll we broke it. it. So it took a quick uh, opportunity now the box and everything looked saturated and got caught in the rain. So I was looking through some of the broke parts of the diff. It's this. A horse in the and that spider gear this. totally cleaned out, totally broken. Got the other one right here. It looks fine. I on the it. one side. <clears throat> got the whole diff itself. All the pieces to the puzzle. So when I seen it leaking, I actually got to look in. Uh, and there's a crack busted down here this part of the casing so I'm not sure if the housing maybe uh, it's not completely broke through maybe the housing can be saved if I ever needed it uh, I haven't got the clutch packs and everything out 
I know the axle. I know if the axle piece is in here. And what's that? It's part of the what's axle. That it's part of the that? axle, baby. So, I'm guessing uh, from the looks of the other piece. Hey, what's that? I don't know where it's at. I've seen it. Um, <clears throat> the axle itself was stuck. Yeah, maybe that was it. But yeah. So looking at all the pieces of the puzzle, the main that? ring gear what's looked that? to be all right. There was hey, what's that? didn't seem to really be any damage. Hey, so that, that might be uh, salvageable hey, for that? a later date. All the little small pieces. Um, hey, what's that? Place that. That one. Hey, that that gear actually looks bent. Hey, what's that? It's my diff. Yes. Yeah. So I guess the main problem, main big problem that I've seen that this is a hey, what's this that? is a thing. Hey, what's that? If it focuses in. Hey, what's that? So hey, what's yeah, that? that right there caused hey, maximum that? destruction. But what's that in here? could definitely keep any of this just in case I ever have to do any type of a rebuild. It's there. So earlier in the video, I was talking about doing a uh, <clears throat> the the flip the BRP uh, Can Am flip windshield. So this little guy right here is one of the servo motors. Um, I just recently had to replace it. I'm going to do its own individual video for this. Um, so and and give you some details. Uh, you know what was going on. Why, why I ended up having to replace that and uh, replace with parts because it, it's kind of hard to, to find. <clears throat> but, yeah. Anyways. So, Maverick. We're back up and rolling for right now uh, until we break something else. Uh, hope everybody had a Happy New Year and a Merry Christmas mm -hmm. and the whole spang. So, peace out, everybody. See you on the next episode. <laughs>